Right now, we have an action pack show uh, at the moment. Uh, because, uh, right, okay, now, this is going to be quite interesting. I want to say hello to Adair, Karen, Vincent, and Maryland. And I'm going to bring you up in turn, and the topic of conversation is promoting your show. So bear with me as I bring people in and out, and uh, we get to the point, and see if we can push that number of viewers watching. Let's wake everybody up. So I'm going to bring Adair and Karen, and then uh, Vincent to Maryland. Maryland, I'll bring you up shortly. Hey. We have the team. Hello, Adair. Hello, Karen. Hey, Stephen. Hey. Hello, hey. Karen. Hey, guys. How exciting. It, well, it, it is. I mean, it's been quite a day. I mean, there are still incredibly 17 shows to go. So uh, I know that Jeff is working hard behind the scenes to keep everything going. And uh, we're here for the next 28 minutes to sort of push things along. Now, uh, Karen, we had a fantastic chat last week uh, about uh, promoting your show. So what are your top tips? And then I'll come to you, Adair. Well, you know what? I think that my top tip is, is to be very um, organized, is to make your outline, make your checklist, decide, you know, where you're starting and, and what you're going to do next. And then what are you going to do after that? And what are you going to do after that? So that you have a process in place. And I think when you have a process in place, I don't know about you guys. I just feel so much calmer. If I am trying to pull pieces from all over the place, forget it. So, you know, that's 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 what's really for me, the most important part is write it down what you're going to do. And now with the new agenda thing that you can save agenda features. Oh, my God. It's so exciting. It is. It's, it's a game changer. Adair, welcome. Thank you, Stephen. And Karen, I caught that show. It was actually the replay and I was blown away. I was, <laughs> when Stephen said, uh, you and I are on together, I'm going, oh, my God. My prayers have been answered. <laughs> That's fine. Quite a fun time. <laughs> Such, such an honour. So uh, I, I actually thinking uh, about in terms of promoting your show as really one of the things that I'm really pushing at the moment is collaboration and because we're all about building community and getting people together. Uh, I talk about little pods of people to start with, so micro-influencing and then working it out from there. So uh, being organised is absolutely critical. Yes, I still need to do a lot of work around that. Um, but uh, but I, I also think engaging other people, helping each other promote our shows, exactly what's happening here on VLive uh, for the first birthday celebration is a, a, a remarkable strategy that we could all get better at doing and uh, because we don't work in isolation none of us oh, work in isolation no we, we don't. don't we work best when we work as a team don't we absolutely for sure uh, and, and talking of teams somebody I, i've spoken to before uh, is maryland and i'm going to bring maryland into the show i'm going to drop down for a moment but if you just carry on talking that would be absolutely fantastic <laughs> awesome <laughs> hey there so I don't know about you, when I go and I start to, um, you know, promote my shows and, did, and and part of that leveraging, you called it collaboration. Hi there. Hi. Hey, Marilyn. So good to see you here. We're Hi. talking about collaboration and leveraging each other. And when you bring people onto your show, regardless if they're commenting and you put their their words up on the screen, people like to see their, their name and lights, or whether they're an actual guest on your show, when you are leveraging each other, and I don't mean me just leveraging somebody else, they are leveraging me as well. We're leveraging each other's network. And by doing that, by tagging each other and by sharing it out, it's not just who we know, it's who do we know that we want to know who they know. And that's where the magic happens. That's right. Um, I think that, it works really well when you are um, connecting with people in the same line that your audience might be interested. Like in my case, I have um, I have a show. It's in Spanish. It's called En Vivo con Maryland. And what I do is I interview different people that have a story that can inspire others. So my audience usually is looking forward to that. 
And at the same time, these people have their businesses or they're working on their projects or they have their own platforms. And when we interview them and we share their story at the same time, we're letting our audience, like you say, know more about these people and reach out to them and know who they are. And this is a form of promotion that serves both as well because they right. can share my my videos and I share their platforms and we all everybody knows who is everybody when you share them you know it's like you expand your reach your engagement increases too because you bring more people to your show or to your broadcast that didn't know about you but they come because they want to hear who you're interviewing and they know this person and that is start a new relationship with um with the things that we do just asking questions and talking to different people uh, that's just so true i mean i agree with you a hundred percent about that adair i know you believe that as well i just the internet connection just dropped it feels like we are truly down under out in the, the backwards sometimes but it just completely cut out so i did miss the bulk of that conversation so just keep talking i'll, I'll say whatever you say whatever you have said is, is no doubt brilliant and and I can see Roy is here. Roy's great. I've had some, many conversations with Roy. And <laughs> what, you, it, what did he say? Who, who do you know that you should know or that right. I should know? Well, yeah. yeah. And, and again, what you're saying, Marilyn, is so important because after the show, too, we, you know, tell people what to do. And that is my big bugaboo about, about when we do social media, we throw all this amazing content out there and then we do not tell people what to do after they've consumed this amazing content. And we're talking specifically about Be Live, which of course we are, and yeah. about these, um, this amazing live stream capability that we have. Tell them what to do. Tell them to share your show in the middle of your show. And it's, yeah. I say it's a shameless plug. Tell people where to go. Look at your mobile device. Look at your tablet. Look at your desktop. Go click that share button. We will love you forever because that's what we want you to do. And even after the show, tell them at the end of the show, are you here on replay? Tell us you're here on replay. And then go and comment because when we comment and we respond to the stuff that people are saying on our shows, we just have told them we know you're important. We're paying attention to you. We like you. We want you to come back. So important. Yes, and that's why it's also important to remind people to stay connected, not just to share the video, but also follow the page. If you have right. a blog or a website, insert the links. You know, if you have something at the moment that is important that the people know, just share it. Like you said, it's a shameless blog. That's your show. That's your <laughs> blog, right? Advertise yourself, promote yourself, and have the people that are reaching out to you in that moment, either live or during the 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 replay to know more about how to connect with you. Um, use the agenda as much as you can to remind you of these things because sometimes right. we are so involved in the show that we forget what are we going to say or what is the link that we're going to share? Just get yourself prepared ahead of the time. Be, be ready with everything that you need and put it in the screen out there, you know? And like you said at the beginning, People love the feature of having their comments show mm -hmm. on the screen. That's one of the first things that attracted me to be live, to be honest. When I saw the first transmission, uh, it was April Roga. She was awesome. And I was like, oh my God, I want to be on <laughs> one of those shows that people can leave comments on and I can share. What do you guys think about that feature? Oh my God, I think I think it's probably the most important feature of this platform that we have. And one of the things that I do, <laughs> hey, April's on, is that I take those comments that are on the screen and I create memes along with the content that I just created and put their name onto these social media images. So now not only were they in the show, but now I've got graphics that represent them and comments that continue to promote the show long after as i like to say ad nauseum as long as you know long after the show is done and it keeps those numbers growing and growing and growing adair i know you agree oh absolutely and i think it is a little bit of like you said getting organized at the front end and also work at the back end but putting in that effort is absolutely worth it mm -hmm. every second of effort that you put in and I think that that recognition that uh, that people get, and I know when I, I had a shout out from Mari Smith on her show, and I kind of nearly died with delight. <laughs> but um, 
No, I, I mean, I, sh- I shared that everywhere. <laughs> so it was uh, so doing that for people. Yeah, that's it the is point. exactly the point. Yes. Did. Wow. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. And, and sharing each other's, um, sharing with, I think also sharing without expectation of it in return because people see you showing up, people see you sharing their stuff. I think we are frozen, or some of us are frozen. Maybe in, a dare. Is, is a dare frozen? <laughs> but she's right. I mean, I, I, I'm sure that you would agree, Marilyn, that in, in fact, by putting, by um, highlighting people, and by then doing working the back end afterwards, that makes a huge, huge difference. Repurposing the content, repurposing, re, uh, resharing. Sometimes we have so many good videos from maybe months ago that we did, and we forget to revisit them, to reshare them, to remind our audience that these videos are there because you know, you know how it is. The news feed goes so fast. Every day is new content. So we need to remember that we have to reshare those videos too, to repurpose them once again, to remind people about that great content, that show that they missed a few months ago. It's very right. important. To do that and too. Ian, Ian, the guy, you know, he was on just before us, he was talking about boosting posts. That's a whole nother arena. I mean, yeah, we can go in, we can go down the rabbit hole. So I throw that out as well. Boosting, what do you do after the show that creates and continues the engagement? I want, get, I want to say something, Harvey, um, Steven. Hi. Right, before you get to that, Marilyn, what I'm going to do is I'm, uh, bring Adair back in a moment, but I'm going to drop down, and Vincent's been waiting patiently, so I'm okay. going to bring Vincent on screen, and then if you continue answering Karen's oh, cool. question. This is, this, is, this is juggling. I mean, I'm, I'm trying my best. <laughs> if I get it wrong, forgive me. You're doing okay. awesome, Stephen. You're doing awesome. Hey, April, I see you. I miss you, too. It's so much fun. This is another functionality of this. We can actually see the comments. Hey, hey, Vincent. Hello, ladies. How are you? I'm hearing all your comments. This is brilliant. Um, What a day. An incredible day. I know. It's really been eye-opening for me seeing all of the presenters, such as yourselves. It's, it's, It's very humbling, and it's really inspiring as well. So how are you getting engagement on your shows? Any tips? What I like to do is to um, use a photo album during my show to kind of help tell a story. So it's great looking at the mugs of everybody, the faces, but it's also nice to utilize a a photo album for a story. So in line with how I promote the show, I like to make that photo album with the assistance of the guests upcoming, and then I'll add my own and use that as promotion leading up to the show so people can kind of look through that photo album Mm -hmm. and get a sense of what sort of stories we may be talking about. That's such a good idea because normally I'm, I put the photos in there and I'm wishing nobody could see them until I go to, to, you know, shoot, use them for a show. But you actually are, have taken a, what I would have considered a negative and made it a positive. I'm going to do that. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. It's like a pre-promotion with, without actually saying anything. I think it also helps me guide the show, and I know more about the guests through seeing the photos. Like Stephen, I interviewed had Stephen on as a guest a couple of weeks ago, and he had a photo of him with Stonehenge in there. And I knew that we were going to talk about his proximity to living near Stonehenge and some of the photos from his town. So it kind of helped engage me mm-hmm. to my guests prior to us going live. I think yeah. it's great, Marilyn. Do you use featured images in your show? Do you go to your photos? Yes, I usually do my show on the talk show format, so that will give me the option to do all those nice things in the screen. But I do share my pictures only on the show. I never thought about that idea of using it as a pre promotion. Thank you for that. That's something that I might consider. But I do have them on a private uh, album that I use just for the show. Uh, and, and that's basically all I do because I create like slides. We're already with my branding on it and all the, the bells and whistles. So I usually have it there in private just for the show, but it's a great idea. To yeah. Do. I like that. And yeah. another thing that I do is I have one of my featured images that I always have sitting there. That's how I, sh- I actually start my show. I start behind a picture 
So the very first thing that shows up on my show is a solo image of my logo. It's a graphic that's created and we just put it up there. I talk behind it as if I'm like a, a narrator or something. It's, it's me, but, and then I come in as a solo so that it sort of sets the show. There's some continuity. Um, and, and also it's a great thing to have if you want to edit the show afterwards to be able to go grab that one picture. Cause normally we all look like this. <laughs> right. <laughs> so to be able to find at least one thing, and I do that by having that that frame just in case. So that works for me as well. One tip about the frame is be mindful about the amount of text that you put mm -hmm. on that frame because mm -hmm. then when you want to boost the video, you're gonna have trouble with Facebook not allowing it because of the amount of text in the screen. Totally agree with that. I'm at, I wasn't referring to the frame. I was referring actually to a graphic that sits I in mean, my. That's what I mean. I'm sorry. The graphic. Yes. Yes. The graphic. Yeah. As long as it's a picture or something of that nature. So yeah, that's a Facebook thing. Definitely. Yeah. yeah and a Facebook thing to add on, if I may. And I, I think it might have been, I'm not sure who did this first, David Burroughs, or maybe I saw Stephen Healy doing this, where your Facebook cover photo, the, the, the wide one, being able to throw in a couple pictures that are part of the photo album with some interesting looking text to use as my Facebook cover a couple of days leading up to the show. And that mm -hmm. actually is sort of the first one, first slide that I show as the show goes live. That's, that's a great tip. Again, use the real estate that we're given for free. I mean, our banners are free. Our, our everything, I mean, we're fortunate. I, if we can complain all we want about how come Facebook does this or how come they do that, but it's a basically a free platform. And, and mm -hmm. to be able to use the real estate that we're given, which is what you're saying, Vincent, that's a that's great, great tip. I'm going to try that too. <laughs> I'm glad I had a couple of great tips for you, ladies, and, and people watching. Again, this is um, what a great way that we're all learning how to promote whatever our passion and our business is. We're able to uh, internationally you know, talk about all of this. And if I may, one other comment about, I think it's really interesting for people to see that we have international guests on because we have our home base here. In my in my case, it's in Northern Colorado. Um, I've had David from Canada on, I've had Stephen from um, near Wiltshire. I've had a uh, guitar player from Romania uh, lining up something with Australia. So I think it adds a lot of interest when people see I would love to do something with South America. Um, that's an area that I'm looking at as well. So I think that's pretty fun. Talk to each other. Marilyn, you, you're, you're best in. I was going to say before I go, first of all, I'm very, very, very happy to be sharing this moment with you guys and especially you, Stephen, is the first time that I actually talk it to is, you like this. I, I have some good news. Uh, Jeff told me a moment ago that we've got five extra minutes. So oh, nice. no need to rush. We've got five extra minutes. And I'll bring, I will bring Karen back. If but you want to bring on the original crew, I'm happy to to watch from the lobby. I really appreciated the time you've had me on, Stephen, if you'd like to do that. Well, I'll, I'll drop you down for the moment. Stay in the lobby and uh, okay. I'll bring everybody back before the end. Definitely. But we've got another 10 minutes to go or 15 minutes. Okay, Victor, thank you. And bring Karen back. And she's back. <laughs> yeah. I love now, this. We, we are, in fact, multilingual, aren't we, Marilyn? Because a lot of your broadcasts are actually in Spanish. Yes. Yes, my, my show is in Spanish. That's my, my main audience. And you know what? I joined Be Live in February, so it was still in the process. So I was one of the beta testers. And for the Hispanic community, I was one of the first live streamers using Be Live, which it created a lot of interest around the platform because everybody wanted to know how was I was able to do that. Right. And and now I see you know more people using it, which is awesome. I'm so happy that I was able to be a trendsetter within my community. And one of the things that I have learned through this process using Be Live is that you have to sometimes to be flexible when it comes to the show and how you run it, because technology sometimes fails, right? And we all have those. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> 
<laughs> so be patient, be patient. But I wanted to say before I forget, one of the recommendations that I want to give people who are starting doing live stream, don't give up. It doesn't go well at the beginning. And another thing is be flexible with your topics. Sometimes it is important to talk about the trending topics in social media. And that will give you a boost in your engagement. If it's something that people are at the moment talking about, I, I call it the hot topics. Uh, I just recently did a live stream, I believe last week, and I was talking about something that it was trending and it was important. And my live stream got over 22,000 views. So it, it is important to be on top of the things that are happening currently in the world, the people that are talking about, and see if it's something of interest to your audience and bring it up and make a discussion about it. It's always that, good. Oh, yeah, so important. And then make sure you keyword it and make sure you put the right description in it so that if people are looking for that hot topic, they're going to find you. We know that video shows up first in search engines. Yes. And so if you take this video, even if you were to download it, I, I actually like to embed the show because you get the numbers keep going up. But if you keyword it and people are looking for it, your video is going to show up at the top of the search. I mean, why not take advantage of that? So powerful stuff that you're saying, Marilyn. Yes. All right. OK, just a message from Adair. Uh, Adair is in Adelaide in Australia and uh, they don't yet have the same access to the Internet that right. we have and she's having problems with her internet connection. Um, so I'm hoping that Adele will make it back. In the meantime, it, I think we we are a lot to be live.tv, don't we? And I'm going to bring uh, Vincent back because he he's started something. Uh, I mean, you all have. Maryland, Karen, and Vincent, you're all plotting your own paths using be live.tv and being successful at it. And uh, I bow to you all in that. And uh, I'd just like to hear your thoughts about BeLive.TV as we continue the show. Okay. Marilyn, do you want to start on your thoughts about BeLive.TV? BeLive.TV has been a game changer mm -hmm. for my social media presence. Uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful tool. And I believe this is the future of digital television. I believe that what we are doing, we are opening a path for a bigger and brighter future when it comes to digital television, when it comes to doing shows. I mean, we all have this tool at our hands that we can create shows, that we can do live streaming, that we can be at the moment when action is happening. So we should be able to use it to our advantage, not only to promote ourselves, but also for creating social good, to impact other people, to create social awareness about things that are happening. There's so many things we can do with this. My show is focused on, on inspiring people, on, on sharing education, on, on helping people share their stories. Mm -hmm. What do you guys do with your shows is also creating a new path for your audience, for your market. So use these tools the best that you can and keep on with it because every day there's something new happening. So don't let, don't get left behind. Be on the, be on this boat <laughs> and be part of the trending new generation that's going to change the television as we knew it since we started doing this. And it's already changing. I mean, I've been talking about getting people need to go get themselves a fire stick, an Amazon fire stick, plug it into their TV because they can download the free Facebook app right onto their TV and watch us live when we're doing our shows right on their television. So that is sort of like that bridge coming from our, our mobile devices or our computers. Now people can sit in the comfort of their living room and watch us as if they were watching. It is exactly as if they're watching a, a television show. And there we are. And that is, to me, the coolest of all cool things. I am directing my traffic to go there, sit on your couch at night, make you know me a favorite and then go watch the show it's it's very very cool I, I i think you know i've been streaming since the early 90s and and we didn't have this ability you couldn't just pick up your phone and click a button and then you went live you couldn't go on your and be live i mean it has been as you said a game changer 
because you can have multiple people on with you at the same time. You can put people's comments up on the screen and engage with them. You can create agendas. You can share your screen. You can share photos. It is a game changer. Yes, there are lots of platforms out there, but this is the one I have chosen to use because it has everything and, and want to say, but wait. There's more. I mean, that it's it's so many things that that are, are part of this platform. So I'm a diehard, diehard Be Live fan. I mean, diehard. And I wanted to, uh, as an addendum to that, that's, those are all really fantastic points, and it's very inspiring hearing like-minded people because, you know, when you wake, I know you know this, but you wake up in the morning and you know you're doing a live show. There's an extra like boost to your whole being mm -hmm. when you know mm -hmm. i started out it, it's it's an interesting i i was in community radio for seven eight years where it was live so there was that excitement and that excitement never went away like my 200th show was as exciting as the fifth show it, it was that mm -hmm. really exciting being live but you didn't know who was listening it could have been five people it could have been a million people i like right. it's probably closer to five obviously but okay. um right. And then I went into doing some television for the school district and we did the show, but it wasn't live, but it was video. This combines mm -hmm. them and gives you a sense, like you said, of who is watching and they can comment. So it's taking it up like 10 notches, what we're doing here. And the fact that we can support each other and we are trailblazers and it does come, I think April made a comment, it does come with a responsibility. Mm -hmm. And what's really exciting about that is every person that I've connected with on Be Live, including you ladies, is there's such a positivity and a wanting to improve other people's lives. And in doing so, we improve our own lives. Absolutely, because we're creating relationships. This is about creating relationships. I, I don't think there's any business out there that cannot survive without relationships. I don't think that there are um, communities out there that do not survive without relationships. And we are creating relationships in a way that cannot be done anywhere else. It's face to face. You have the capability of attracting and connecting with millions of people. I mean, when I wrap my head around that, Regardless of whether I have, you know, 10,000 watching a show or 500 watching a show, I have the potential, if I do this right and if I play it right, millions of people. And why would I not want to create a relationship with as many people as I can? Guys, I'm going to check out. I want to thank you. This is so much fun to be here with you. I've always, I've been wanting to meet you, Marilyn, for quite a while. So it's great to meet you. Vincent, the same thing. Thank you. Thank you, you guys have a great day and happy birthday, Be Live. Thank you, Marilyn, as well. Bye. Thanks, I'm going to go, too, guys. Thanks for having me on, Stephen and everybody. It's been uh, quite the treat. Right. Okay. We, we do have, well, um, we've got five minutes to fill. Uh, oh, wonderful. We can we can fill it. You know, I wanted, if, may I comment to uh, April? April made a comment. May I make a brief comment to that? Oh, yes, surely. Surely, okay. yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll go back to it. There it is. She mentioned about how... Um, I hope that never goes away for me because <laughs> nervous is such an interesting word because there's a mixture of many, many things that go into that. There's excitement, there's fear, there's uncertainty. Most of, in most of the cases, the connection is very, very good, which is incredible. Um, it's, there's a responsibility. There's uh, all of these things go into that comment of being nervous. If I, if I don't feel nervous, I'm going to realize that, uh, I haven't planned well for the show. It's almost like the more I plan for the show, the more excited I am for the show, the more nervous I feel. So that's a great comment that uh, someone is in tune with how to do a show as April would make that comment. That's 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 very telling because Marilyn, for you, how does that feel when you start a show? Is is the same way. It's like every every day that you get in front of that camera, you get that nervousness that excitement because you never know what's gonna happen it's a live show you know you don't know how how things are gonna go but it's part of that excitement of going there and and, and doing something new every time doesn't matter how many how many shows you have done the techie part you're taking care of but what's gonna happen during that interview how's that gonna affect and engage your audience it's always a surprise yeah, and April, April's quite right here. If you don't get a buzz before you go live, 
then you're not doing something quite right. I just want to go back to uh, Laura's comment, which is yeah, breathing yeah. into that nervous energy yeah, transforms it into excitement, which I think really. uh, sort of brings everything together. And uh, we have waiting in the wings uh, in, well, pretty soon, uh, Sandra Centurino, who is excited already. So that's that's a good sign. Sandra, have a great show. And uh, Michael wishes Be Live TV happy birthday, as do we all. And I think we've effectively caught up. I'm waiting to hear from our producer. And uh, right, okay. And Jeff is saying Sandra has arrived, so we can stay on schedule. I think we're rather really, but um, right, okay. Now, what are your plans for your future shows? Are you? Yeah, to, to both of you, sorry. If, what are you planning to do uh, between now and Christmas, say? Well, I'll go ahead. I'm um, very excited to start talking to a uh, community uh, that's helping out some Native Americans up in Canada, the very uh, intense uh, situation where they're trying to bring music up to the indigenous up in Northern Canada and some very intense living situations up there. So I'm going to be talking to uh, ongoing with them for the next couple of months. So that's that's going to be very profound for me to tap into that. So that's that's big on my plate. And Marilyn, what are your plans? Well, one of the things that I want to do is do more a sponsor content on my show. So I'm working towards that because you know what? There's something that we can't forget this there's a potential to monetize your shows right and 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 not only engage with your audience but also make some money so that's one of the things that i'm working on right now and uh, continue helping people through my show continue doing new things get going along with what be life brings to the table and keep having fun that's the that's the key this is so much fun doing live video because you get to meet so many people from all around the world, all of whom, I mean, I haven't met anybody on live video who's grumpy. We're all happy people most of the time. And talking of happy people, I can see Sandra Centurino dancing away in the lobby, waiting to come on the air. Uh, this is magical. Uh, and Bridget is saying some great tips to share for Be Live Turns One. I think we've seen some fantastic shows to get today. I mean, there, there are 17 still to go. Wish Jeff well in this final four hour stretch and wish everybody a good show, especially Sandra. Um, and I've learned something today. I've learned lots of things. It's going to take a week to go through today's <laughs> shows on the replay and discover all the fantastic things that were said. One did it, uh, one idea that I'm taking on board is the idea of a five-day challenge so i'm here to announce here and now that we'll, there will be a be live in five five-day video challenge coming to a be live tv show near you uh, pretty soon um so we've all got takeaways from today i think the the broad thing is that the wide range of, of topics that have been covered yeah. did you, any of you see molly's show earlier I did not. Right. OK. Uh, well, Molly is, is a performer par excellence. And uh, awesome. yeah. Um, right. OK. And uh, I'm seeing things twice now. It's getting late in the UK. It's, it's quarter to midnight. <laughs> um, right. Well, I'm still waiting. I'll wait a minute. Just let me check the comments and see what. Uh, Right, okay, and we are about to go. Vincent, I'd like to say thank you for joining us today. Uh, look forward to working together in the last quarter of the year. Merland, thank you. Gracias. Thank you for having me. Gracias, amigos. Gracias. No hay de qué. Bye-bye. Adios. Bye. Okay, I'll see you both again soon. And to everybody who's watched the show, thank you very much.